okay just uh, walking home from the supermarket thought I'd give you an update on my living situation as well bit of wind here so I don't know what the audio is going to be like hopefully not too bad uh, but we'll see uh, there's always someone coming down that road that wants to turn uh, turn left uh, they waited this time so it wasn't so bad and this this side is generally pretty quiet see that four leaf sign been there forever uh, again I'm digressing what I actually want to talk about is uh, my neighbor got some uh, major in new intel on my neighbor uh, yesterday I was went down the back to do just film one of my my uh, videos the one on methane fuel on that, in the back of the uh, property and there's this middle-aged woman uh, sunbaking there and it just so happened she happens to be living in number 17 which happens to be the flat right above me and uh, she said she'd been living there for two weeks so I knew that she wasn't the old person being give me all those hassles and introduced herself as Marie and told her my name if that was all good and she seemed nice enough from interstate a lot of people are up here and um, and she's been she's working full time and I know she's reasonably quiet because it, it's been been quite fine the last two weeks the the flat is badly designed and noise does come through I can hear her thumping around, she's probably just do, doing a normal walk but it sounds like thumping and when she drags uh, chairs or table chair whatever you can hear that but it doesn't happen that often so it's not a... and she certainly doesn't do it in the wee hours it's always quiet when I want to sleep and that's really important so... Uh, so sick of people you know that have seen to have lifestyles where they they stay up all night that's just in, totally incompatible with my lifestyle anyway being an old prick that I am so anyway so I found out that we've got it I've got a new tenant she told me something, a little bit about the old tenant said that it was a girl who had a daughter I presume she had a boyfriend as well I think uh, so it's probably the daughter that was making a lot of that noise I imagine I mean I've got these ideas in my head that I might have been running a drug lab or god knows what else your, your, your imagination generally does run away with you from time to time at least it does with me uh, hopefully that is just the imagination uh, but uh, Marie seems fine she seems like a nice enough person and uh, and uh, yeah this, this looks like this could work out all right she's also having issues with her repairs of her place she's, she can't get a TV signal uh, seems like there might be a problem with the cable because I told her the aerial's fine I've, I've got to I get a perfect picture on mine so it's definitely not that I think it might be her own connection so she's gone to the agency about that uh, she also we also had a bit of a we shared, shared hard luck stories trying to find places too she'd been looking for two months so she knew all about the struggle of trying to find a rental she initially wanted a two bedroom place but Threatens is on about 900 a week, which is not a bad income, but apparently not good enough to get a two bedroom apartment. It's ridiculous. This is cans for God's sake. Because there's, there's a strict formula that the agents use. Uh, she actually got it through um, she actually got the uh, the flat through my the same agency I went with. which I cannot remember the name of, which is fantastic. Uh, it doesn't matter, I can do this, finish this off later. Anyway, so... I just walked past them before too, <laughs> it's embarrassing. God, I'm getting old. I can see their cars, I'm trying to... Uh, I know them. McGrath, McGrath right there. She, um, Marie... Marie went with McGrath Agency. Uh, you cop that all the time here. There's so many planes going over lately. It seems like everybody's coming to Cairns right now. It's quite extraordinary, of course. Typical noise is they've got we've got the bloody uh, got the uh, guys doing the, the garden. It seems to always happen. 
Uh, it's a work in progress continually, real pain in the ass. Funnily enough though, the guy next door has been quiet today. So I guess they're taking over the baton, isn't it? It's a nice garden, but geez, the noise here is ridiculous. Okay, well we're inside now, so hopefully you'll be able to hear what I'm saying. Just a, well, it's a good, it's a great illustration of the crap I have to put up with, with noise in this place. But I think it's a general cancer here because I stayed here last year, like I said, for about eight weeks or so. I've got a pretty good feel for the place, and. It's just a lot of tradies, a lot of noise, that's all I can say. That's my impression. But what I was going to say is Marie also had major hassles finding her place there upstairs and took her two months and uh, she was going through the same crap I was going through. And like I said, she was also looking for a bigger place and they just didn't think she had the money to, to service that, uh, that type of uh, property. It was just ridiculous, it's all like, it's the nanny state coming in again, you know, telling us how much money they think we have to have before we can actually service the debt. The thing that really gets me about that is I don't run a car. I, I can't get a driver's license. It's a major expense. I think it's estimated to be about a hundred bucks a week or more. So, you know, you can take that straight off my equation. I walk everywhere, I've got a very low cost lifestyle. Uh, everyone's different. I can afford a much nicer place if they allow me to rent it. It's just crazy. Um, maybe the real estate agents are pissed off too. Maybe they're told that they have to use these guidelines these days. I mean, so many regulations. We're so over-regulated in this country, it's ridiculous. Uh, mind you, it's nowhere near as bad as in Melbourne. Uh, it's just nice to be in a, a relatively low density apartment block. Uh, and not have to worry about uh, having false alarms for the, the fire brigade, uh, all that sort of crap. And, and just, uh, you know, after hours, the noise is not an issue here. So that's, that's good too, but that's not the case in Melbourne. Uh, I'm getting the wheels moving there too. I'm gonna be seeing my agent about selling the place. I've got a, an appointment with them when I go down there early next week. So. We'll get, the, we'll get the wheels rolling and hopefully I'll be able to sell my property in the, this this year or early next year. So fingers crossed on that one. But uh, yeah, that's basically the state of play um, with, uh, with my uh, living situation here. Definitely improved. It's a very comfortable place. The weather's improved. My living situation's improved. Uh, fingers crossed it continues. And you never know, next year I might buy my own place. So that would be interesting. So that's uh, basically my, my personal update.